Ian Pepperell was best known for playing Roy Tucker in the long-running BBC radio soap and he also had a role in EastEnders during the 1980s. The Archer's Roy Tucker star Ian Pepperwell has died aged 53. Editor of the long-running BBC radio soap, Jeremy Howe, has paid tribute to the perfect Archer's actor in a lengthy statement, writing, He loved being part of an ensemble, relished the camaraderie and gossip of the green room, and had a seemingly effortlessly fine-tuned vocal technique. Like all the very best radio actors he could think on his feet and change the way he played a scene in the blink of an eye. Thanks to Ian's brilliance, he created in Roy a character who managed to face in two directions simultaneously in almost every scene he played. He captured Roy as both genial and anxious, funny and sad, easygoing and permanently stressed. A man who could hold down with ease a top job, yet who always carried with him Hamlet's sense of failure. It all made perfect sense because of Ian's uncanny and laser-guided ability to find humor in the emotional scenes, and find pathos in the comedy that he always played so unerringly well. The editor went on to say Ian had a lot more gas in the tank and was desperate to return, but could not do being ill. He added the actor's death in his prime was tragic and that he will be missed dearly by the team. Our hearts go out to his family and friends and everyone who knew him. Ambridge loved Roy. The Archers and our millions of listeners loved Ian's Roy Tucker, Jeremy concluded. Aside from his acting career, which also featured a role in EastEnders and Beck, Ian was a pub landlord of the Star Inn, located in Rhineford. On the business Facebook page, a post reads, It is with the heaviest of hearts that I must tell you all, that Ian, left this world today, in peace, his way. As I, and all of the closest to him knew he would. To die, to sleep, to sleep. Perchance to dream, I, there's the rub. Tributes have flooded in for the late actor following the news. One wrote, so incredibly sad, sending love and the deepest heartfelt sympathy. I have happy memories of Ian, forever in our thoughts. A colleague added, lost for words. Ian was more than my boss he was my friend. My thoughts and love are with you guys. A third typed. So sorry to hear this news. Much love to you and the family. XX. Ian's wife Nikki Pepperell shared earlier this month that he had been taken to hospital due to being very poorly.